experience builder enables you to create web apps and web pages without coding. Use a template or start from scratch to create the exact web experience you want. These key features set it apart from alternatives. With flexible layouts, you have options not only building the house, but also designing the footprint of the house in addition to tracked homes. 2D and 3D integration is the DNA of Experience Builder. Most of the widgets are designed to work with maps regardless of whether they have scene layers or feature layers. It also integrates with other apps like Survey123 and dashboards to streamline the process. On the mobile, less is more. Choose widgets to be displayed only on the desktop, but not on the mobile for optimization. Widgets are interconnected with each other. They are aware of each other's existence and respond accordingly. So apps become intelligent. All of them are powered by a rich set of widgets and templates. You may wonder what kind of apps we can build. In addition to classic full-screen web apps, we can build web pages, 3D, gallery, portal, survey, etc. And optimize dashboards on mobile as well. Essentially, Experience Builder is a canvas for limitless creativity. It has three editions available in ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Enterprise 10.8.1 and up. Developers can download developer edition from the developer's website. As part of the Essential Apps Bundle, you must have a creator or GIS professional user type to create apps. For developers who don't have ArcGIS organizational accounts, use developers' subscriptions. Let's take a quick tour with Canyon. We'll start creating our first experience using a template. In this case, we'll choose the Launchpad template, which should be familiar to many of you Web App Builder users. We'll start by naming our application. In this case, we'll call it Glacier National Park App. Next, we'll go ahead and connect to our data sources. Now, because Experience Builder enables you to seamlessly transition between 2D and 3D data, we can bring in a 2D web map and 3D web scene and connect them both to our map widget. Now, let's go ahead and adjust the title. Experience Builder offers flexible layout options where you're able to easily configure and modify all aspects of the build of the application without having to do any custom development or extensions. Next, we'll go ahead and add in a second page using a blank full screen template. And we'll call this map and rename our first page to home. Now, Experience Builder enables you to create complex multi-page full screen or scrolling applications and enable us to move between these pages and view content on the second page. We'll first add in a map and then add in a menu widget that's going to allow us to transition seamlessly between the first page and the second page. We'll move the menu widget up towards the top of the header and then use some of the advanced properties to customize its look and feel of its text so that it's easier to see it on top of the orange background. Finally, because Experience Builder offers mobile adaptive uh, views, we'll go ahead into our mobile experience and configure a couple of different views just to enable us 
to customize the look and feel and add the header back in to our mobile experience. We'll start by turning off the search in the map, and then we'll just add in a simple text and our app name. Finally, we'll go ahead and resize the text and make it a bit darker so it's easier to see. Center it, and now we have our app name for our mobile view. We'll go ahead and save and preview our application. When we launch it, we're able to view our configured experience and transition seamlessly between 3D and 2D maps, view our widgets at the bottom that we've configured, and move back and forth between our multiple pages. Lastly, if we transition into a mobile view, we're able to see the mobile configured view for our experience. Thanks, Kane. You can configure in experience by assembling these blocks together, template, widget, data source, and theme.